morning. Um, so our objective for today is to explain the opportunity myth and to explore how wit and wisdom achieves these factors that the opportunity myth has, um, has determined that students can achieve um, academic success. So before we begin and define what the opportunity myth is, I'd like you to turn and talk about what you believe the four factors of uh, high student achievement, what the four factors are, are needed for high student achievement and um, success. Turn and talk. So what I heard um, you guys saying, um, and put a thumbs up if you said that, I heard um, engaging material, um, novels and assignments that um, allow the students to think deeply and get excited. I also heard you talk about uh, grade appropriate assignments. So um, making sure that the level, the caliber of assignments that they're completing are on grade level and even challenging them, challenging, challenging, challenging them further. Um, I also heard you guys talk about um, high expectations, so teachers believing that the students can achieve those things that are set before them. But along with that, I heard you guys also say that like modeling and scaffolding is very important. Um, and so this idea of um, strong instruction that allows the students to do the heavy lifting but also allows the teachers to guide them on that process. So all of those factors that I heard you guys say and summarize with one another are actually those things that researchers have determined after looking at thousands of assignments, um, student uh, models and work. Um, they have determined that these are the things that scholars need in order to achieve high academic success. So today I want to talk to you guys about how wit and wisdom actually um, employs those four factors and resources um, within their modules. Um, and particularly I want to look at the end of module task for um, module two for sixth grade. Um, this may be hard to see, um, but the task that they had to do and complete was to create an original model myth for a hero that they developed and to delineate the five stages of the hero's journey, explain what the hero has to go through on those five stages, and then also to explore the different archetypes and characters that are within their story. Finally, they have to present on that um, through a techno technology-based presentation. Um, so, Isaac, you, <laughs> you totally threw me off, man. Go to PE. Um, so, um, this assignment really requires scholars to um, really do uh, the heavy lifting. Um, it also requires them to really deeply engage with the material. So throughout the module, they read books like The Odyssey, and if you look at this, it's, it's very colorful. There's pictures, um, and it's a, it's a translation of The Odyssey. They also got to read Ramayana, which is a different culture, um, uh, culture story. So they got to explore a different culture's um, myth, um, and the, these books are extremely engaging about heroes and, and defeating monsters. Um, and the scholars were deeply engaged with this. Um, they also became deeply engaged with this assignment because they were able to create their own after exploring the archetypes and other, and other stories and exploring the, um, the stages of the hero's journey. Now, this also... Uh, is a very great appropriate assignment, right? That you're going to have to complete a similar type of assignment and create their own story on the end of uh, year state test. So it's very great appropriate. It also requires them to do the heavy lifting, but not without um, scaffolding and modeling. So you'll see that we actually have, I have them complete these graphic organizers, which are similar to the ones they saw all uh, module long, so the whole quarter, where they have to fill out the stages of their hero's journey and the archetypes as well. Um, so the 
the scaffolding and the modeling because I've filled out these charts with them before, um, just me modeling it for them and them doing it with me and then them doing it on their own. So they've seen this before and they're able to complete it um, for their end of module task. So the high expectations of the teacher comes into play here when they're expected to do this all on their own only after there's been appropriate modeling and scaffolding.